at least at this point in my life. I did an episode of Star Trek a long time ago. Yeah, whatever. It was all prosthetics and it was miserable and there's no way in 20 million years you'd ever know it was me. Ever, ever, ever. And I wanted to quit acting after one week on that show of being in prosthetics, being a snake reptilian boy. I was like, I am done. And then like two weeks later, I got Supernatural. Thank God I didn't quit. That was incredibly embarrassing and crappy. Does that answer anything, or am I just going off on tangents? Sweet. Hi. Hi. Um, my question was, which role did you like better, playing Denny on Grey's Anatomy or John on Supernatural? Gotta remember where I am. They were both at the same time, and they were both super awesome because they were vastly different. Um, and it was kind of the beginning of me having a career after being an actor for 25 years. I mean, I understand that was, what, 12 years ago now that both shows happened simultaneously for me. So to pick one or the other is crazy. They were both awesome because, for one, I got to show that I could act a little bit because it was two different roles. John and Denny are completely different things. and. I just felt so lucky to be working at all. You know, I spent, like I said, 25 years of not being able to pay rent. You know, it was a struggle to keep dog food in the bowl, much less food on my plate. So, you know, it was just, I, I was really lucky to be on two such awesome shows at the same time. It was just a pure luck, I think, you know? So I can't pick one out of those two. I loved you on both of them. So. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love playing them both. It's awesome. This is a big ass stage. Hello. Hi. What is your favorite convention experience that you've had? Right now, that question. <laughs> You know, I think my favorite one was the Vegas thing because it was my first supernatural convention ever. And it was just so cool to kind of meet everybody and these guys. I mean, I met, I met a whole group of like the supernatural world that I'd never met before because I was in like season one and two. So all of these guys have been part of the show for 10 years. I got to meet for the first time and that was awesome. And they're all such cool folks. It's a big, huge family, so to kind of come in and, and meet everybody and be Daddy Winchester for a couple days again. <laughs> so that was probably my favorite. I've done it. This is my third now. Um, and I wish I could do more, because it really is. It's so great seeing everybody, and, and you know, everybody knows how I feel about the two idiots that are in the show. So to hang out with them, you know, is... You know, we were out all night last night playing bocce ball and drinking beer and all the stuff I said I wouldn't do because I had to work all day today. We did. <laughs> it was great. And so I think that my favorite experience is probably the first one because I felt like, oh, this is what I've been missing for the last 10 years. What an idiot I am. 10-4? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, darling. What is up? Um, this question is actually on behalf of my best friend, Linda. She came up with the idea. Where so, the hell is Linda? Linda, wait. <laughs> okay, so we I got you back, Linda. <laughs> we understand that the writers are the ones that come up with, with what you say and what you do, but uh, from your own personal opinion, and I don't know if you've watched any of the past 11 episodes, or 11 seasons, what would John's advice be to the boys with everything they've gone through now if he could have a conversation with them? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I haven't really seen the show. Every now and again, I'll catch a show and be confused about who these people are. And, um, I mean, I just found out last night that Samantha's back on the show. I was like, what? I saw her ass burn on the ceiling. There's no way. I guess, I guess my advice is, anybody could come back.
that are up. I just wanted to say, P.S. I love you. Oh, I see what you did there. Thank you very much. I love you too. I like that dress. You know what I want to say right back there, right? That's exactly right. <laughs> Interactive experience. Hi. Hi. Um, so I know you just said that you don't watch a show very often, or you didn't watch I know, I'm horrible. So I've got it all on DVD, and someday I'll watch them all. Okay, okay. But, um, so hopefully you can answer this question, but it was... <laughs> I'll lie. <laughs> um, if Negan were to somehow enter the supernatural world, who do you think he would kill first, and why? Mark Shepard, just had a print <laughs> Mark Shepard somewhere right now backstage just like, fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Here's my friend. Hi, Jeffrey. I love you. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Actually, my question is for my girlfriend that's way up there. She's What's up with all the friends not wanting to ask well, questions? Carmen can't. Oh, lottery. Congratulations. <laughs> So Carmen is not able to walk down here, and if you could wave and say hi to her. Yeah, where is she? She's over there. Oh, I got it. Yep. Hi. And, <laughs> You're going to get your question answered. Carmen's question is, would you rather play a villain or a good guy? Well, right now I'm in full-on villain mode. And I'm having a blast. Hey, you see, it's all what I did there. Again. Um, yeah, I'm locked in right now. I'm in the middle of filming season seven, and we're about midway through. So I am, I'm full on villain. That's why I'm not gonna take any shit from people back there saying ten four. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's been. This has been an extraordinary experience of being on The Walking Dead this year, um, and this role in particular is. Probably the hardest, most fun, kind of all in one, don't sleep craziness that I've ever experienced, but it is something. I mean, I can't stress enough that if you were one of those people that were all like, oh, fucking cliffhanger, <laughs> you're gonna be really wishing that the cliffhanger never ended after you see the first episode back, so. Be careful what you wish for! Thank you. Thank you. Villain is the answer, by the way, in case I missed that part of it. Hi. I'm asking this question for my friend Sid. <laughs> What's the biggest thing you've learned from being on Super Let me Super ask you a question, all of you. So you won the lottery, but nobody had a question that won the lottery? Like, you entered to ask a question, and now you're just asking friends questions. And I'm with someone who's a Supernatural fan. Oh, and you're not a fan. This I is getting fan. better. I <laughs> <laughs> to it is some people. Okay. All right, give me your question. What's the biggest thing you've learned from being on Supernatural? biggest thing I've learned from being on Supernatural, and I learned it immediately in, in doing it, is that there are actors and people involved in our business that are super awesome people. And that's, believe it or not, that's kind of rare. That's why it's kind of so cool to be part of this and, and this family. It's just, it's a rare thing that you're in a group of people that you want to spend time with, you enjoy each other's company that are total pros, that are good at what they do. It's just a rare thing, and I think, I think that was very inspiring to me 12 years ago, that these yeah. kids, they were friggin' kids then, you know, uh, had their shit together as much as they did, and, and it so continues. I mean, I, I, we sat last night, the three of us, talking until, you know, two in the morning, and God, they're just awesome dudes, you know, and I, and I think that's the, most uh, the important thing that I learned from Supernatural is that there's really great people out there. Yeah.